Now, here comes the music. Good, everyone. It is Tuesday night. It is 8 o'clock. Do you know where your DJ's at? I know where I'm at. I'm here with you. And I also am accompanied by here by Mike James from good old Central Illinois. Uh, hopefully, oh, yeah. Dave Alley on a little bit later. It may be DJ Fire, you know, uh, our normal uh, crew. Uh, DJ Salsis, uh, he's always running around, so hopefully maybe he'll come in too. Um, and maybe some others. I, I, I don't know. I always ask people. I can't make him come here, but hopefully they uh, they do show here once in a while. Uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube, remember, we do this every Tuesday night on Twitch. You can follow us on Twitch over at TBM Productions underscore buddy on Twitch. And you can watch the show live and ask questions. If you're watching this on repeat, Make sure you like, subscribe, and click down below if you have a comment, you want to say something, you know, add it down there, and then I'll read that comment, and the next show, we'll we'll talk about it. So make sure that you're clicking, the thumbs up, and liking, and subscribing to the channel. And as well as Mike James, he has his own channel on YouTube. You can find him very easily. Uh, DJ Fire has his uh, YouTube channel. And I always put links in the description, as well as DJ A. Bally and uh, DJ Salsis. I always put links in the description for everyone that is part of the uh, DJ Roundtable. And that way you guys can click on them and go right to their uh, channels and subscribe to them and watch their content because they have a lot of great content. And uh, one of the things uh, I know, uh, Mike, um, the cool thing you were working on, a uh, some stuff for your scrims. And... This is something that we were just talking about a minute or two before we started the show is what happens if your scrims that you get for, let's say a totem or whatever, are damaged, what do you do? Do you go buy new scrims? Do you go to a fabric store like a Michaels or something like that and buy fabric um, and make your own? Mike, you want to you tell people what you did, how you overcame that uh, small dilemma? Uh well, my wife is a pretty awesome seamstress. So, I mean, for me, I, on my totems, those scrims were damaged, but uh, I went and picked out a super nice material. You know what I mean? It's uh, way cheaper. I mean, especially for the totems to uh, go and buy some material and stitch it up yourself because, I mean, honestly, they're 60, 70, 80 bucks a piece, you know, depending on how big of a totem you have and the, 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 the size run. And I think we made our two scrims for under 40 bucks. Wow. With, and it was on sale too. Like I said, that, that really, that really nice material was about 25 bucks a yard, but at Joanne's it was like 30% off. So I think we got like 15 bucks off at the end, which we put it right under $40. So, I mean, I made two brand new six foot scrims with high quality material. I mean, 10 times better than the Rockville material that came on the original ones for less than $40. So it's an option. It, it is an option. You can go and buy some scrims, but they're not cheap. I mean, no, they're, they're, they're not cheap at all. No. And if, if your boot scrim is. Made... I know Jim Mike is having some problems with his internet tonight. Uh, it is a, a rainy day here in Illinois and Mike is uh, about three hours South of me and up here in the Chicagoland area, it is rainy. I'm sure it's down rainy down there in uh, central Illinois um, because we get the nice lion storms coming from the west coming this way. And it's been like that all day here. Um, now, I know you were talking if, about... If I'm going in and out, I'm sorry about that. Oh, like no, I no, said, that's the not internet's... a problem. That's, that's, that's not a problem. It happens. It's a real world. It it's the interwebs. It we can't control that. We can control we can control. Oh. It's like anything else. Uh <laughs> And one of the things, uh, what you had, you had um, some marks on your on your scrims from you, so whatever, you tried cleaning them, and, you know, you, you tried, uh, you know, getting the stains out. Unfortunately, Hoverstain got there, some spilled a drink or whatever, what would have happened, happened. And you took, you went to, you know, uh, you said Joanne Fabrics, got some new, uh, better material, made new scrims for it, and I see them behind you, they're glowing nice and blue. Uh, and your wife oh, yeah. who knows how to sew it, sewed it together pretty easily. Um, this is something that us as DJs, if we know people who can sew, who can do things, 
we could turn to them and say, hey, this is a project we need to do. Hey, I need to replace a scrim on this. You know, can you take a look at this? How, how can, can, do you know how, can you do this? And be someone who is not a seamstress or somebody who can't sew. Um, it's, it's, you're lucky to have someone like that, that you can turn to, you know, in, your, in this case, your wife, um, and say, hey, honey, uh, what do you think? You think we could do this? And, you know, again, she can do it. Hey, good. That saves you a lot of money. Again, that's a huge price difference. Two of them for about $40 and her time, which I would definitely would say, hey, honey, I need to take you out to, you know, to a restaurant to, for dinner uh, for that one or a, a foot massage or something. You know, hey, I know oh, you yeah. back rub something, you know, some kind of way of thanking her. But, um, you know, it, it's one of the things that her, her work is part of it. But that material, there forty dollars of material, and you have two scrims that are you said better quality than originally oh, came yeah. with the, the totems, and that's that's huge. And as DJs, we try to have as as great looking stuff as possible. And again, if you have not done so already, on Mike James's YouTube channel, he has up some new video. Uh, he's put up the the totems he has there, has had there uh, for a different look of doing things, uh, booth and and the. Uh, two totems next to each his booth and doing stuff with lighting and so forth to make those totems pop and give that nice, unique look different from what everyone else does. Um, you know, some people, uh, DJ Fire, he loves trussing, he does trussing, and he likes to have stuff that looks differently. And Mike, I feel, has a nice, unique look for what he's doing. And especially in your market, you're a smaller market, obviously, than up here. I have, you know, there's hundreds of DJs up here. You're a smaller market, but because you're a smaller market, you also know what your competition does probably a little easier than I do. Do you feel since you switched up your look on your with the totems and with the booth and everything, do you feel that you are much more uh, successful with that, or do you feel that you're attracting more customers, or how do you feel since you switched over to look a little bit? Everyone loves it. I mean, plain and simple. Everybody loves it. Uh, I mean, like like when I take my still shots and you'll see me post them on my Facebook and they automatically go on my Instagram and stuff like that. I mean, people just, wow, it's it's fantastic. Oh, he's frozen. But <laughs> I, I, I can tell you, I watch his Instagram. I look at his pictures. Oh, there you're back. <laughs> I look at Mike's uh, pictures. And I can tell you, uh, it, 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 he's always done a good job with presentation, just like uh, DJ Fire does and uh, Matt. I, I, I hope, I don't know, I can't I can't say about myself, but hopefully my presentation, when I send pictures to them to show them what I'm doing, hopefully it looks, it looks presentable. Uh, there's always stuff you can nitpick, you know, cable here, it's up there. You can always nitpick that stuff. It happens. It's stuff you didn't catch right away. You got to go back. And I always look at <laughs> pictures. And if I'm, I get stuff done early, I always look at the pictures I took and go back and go, oh, hey, there's a cable here. Oh, I can go fix this. Oh, hey, get some, get some the Velcro strap, or the Velcro, Velcro strap here, or oh, this needs to be tucked in, or that needs to be worked on. And <clears throat> you do that, and then next time you do it, you remember, hey, I, I want this cable hidden. I want this done, and that done. Uh, what When you go into facilities and... I, I know when I talk to facility managers, I hear what they say, and I, I'll, I'll go to the robot with this weekend. But when they see this look, how do they think that you stack up to your competition in your market? Well, uh, I mean, there's only one other person around here that does like uplights, like like myself and DJ Fire, mm -hmm. and the price the price difference between us and them. But they're only, I mean this guy owns the music store in the next town over and uh, he sends out whoever, I don't know, whoever he hires to DJ his events, but the price difference, I think they started like 1750, which is kind of crazy for us because I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, that just seems. I think it likes to say it seems a little high for his area, but it is, it is, but, but they book. And like I said, they're the only ones, you know, that can compete with us as far as like offering up lighting and offering like 
all the other things that we do, except we're the actual DJ that shows up and not some guy that we hired. Yeah, you know? he's sub subcontract. So do you feel that maybe you need to raise your prices up then to not compete, but also to maybe capture a little more of that higher in audience? Again, I look at it this way. There, 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 there's DJs who are different price points. And I'm not trying to how to run your business and market price always change from market to market to market. I talk to DJs all across the country and all across the world. And where your market's at is totally different from my market. But if he's charging X and you're Y, can you not get to X, but can you raise yourself up a little bit so that you're not, not as far away as what you charge to what he charges? You make you're a little bit closer. And, and this is one of the things that, that Tracy and I struggled with at the beginning of the year with everything going up, pricing, insurance, fuel, you know, I just got on last Thursday. I I got I got fuel in my Sprinter. Uh, diesel is five five twenty seven a gallon, and I ha had half a tank, and I filled up my 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 van. And this weekend I went up to uh, Friday. I went up up in Racine, Wisconsin, so hour and forty minutes north. Uh, and back it was 228 miles round trip and then Saturday was uh, Geneva Illinois which is only like two towns over two and a half towns over but it's a 30 minute <laughs> ride uh, so, and it was like you know 40 miles so there and back and it's it's one of the things that I, I spent 68 dollars for fuel and I'm, I, I have it back down to a half a tank again. So this week, even though I don't have anything this coming weekend, this is the first week I'm off, Tracy and I are off since <laughs> May of, basically May. Um, I need to refill my van back up and, you know, fill it back up. Plus, I had a computer go down this past weekend that decided to die. I'm looking at a new computer. That's $2,300, you know, because computers are not cheap. And you, I buy good quality computers. It's one of the things that, you know, at the beginning of the year, Trace and I decided to raise our price. We raised our prices last year. We raised our prices again this year because of the fact that what we were looking at the product we're putting out, what we are doing, uh, what the competition's pricing is, and saying, hey, you know what? We need to have a, a fair price that we feel is fair for our services and give a great, you know, product. And again, you are giving a great product. I can tell you about it, your look and stuff like that. And I could see by the videos you post on YouTube, people dance and having fun. So I could tell that you're putting a good product out. And I feel that, you know, if you raise your price up a little bit, and I'm not telling you you should, I'm just saying this is what I think. This is what I did. I already have. And again, I raised my prices I already last have year. raised my prices. I, I raised my prices last year, and I raised my prices again this year. It, it's, it sounds funny, but, you know, we raised our prices up because of the fact that everything's gone up in pricing. And it is, it, it's one of the things, if we're going to give a premium product and give a premium look, I don't want it to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to be Walmart. I don't want to be that cheap $500 DJ. And I know you're not a $500 DJ. You're definitely not <laughs> the low end, you know, DJ in town. And neither is DJ Fire. Neither one of you guys should be. And it's one of the things that it, it's hard sometimes. It's hard because, it. yeah, you you want to track customers, but it, it's hard sometimes to do that. You know, people are like, oh, they like, I want to pay $500. Well, it is what it is. Well, in those situations, I can look at it either I work or I don't. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Uh, again, is it optimal for me to do a wedding for five or $600? No. Um is it still worth my time to do it considering, uh, I mean, if there's only X number of gigs in my area and I'm not working then though, who else is, you know what I'm saying? It just, so I don't know. There, there is something, you know, to be said about, you know, somebody wants to book me for four hours or whatever and only wants to pay me 600 bucks. I'm going to do the event. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, it's, am I going to bring my trusting and all that stuff? Absolutely not. You know what I mean? Am I going to, is, is my setup going to be a little simpler? I mean, where, where it's time over money for me at that point. Well, if I can get in set up 30 minutes, 
you know, I run there four hours, I break down, I'm out in 30 minutes, 600 bucks is it, you know, it's better than sitting at home and not, not paying well, the yeah, light this, bill. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is, this is true. It's all, to me, it's always time and material and what package the customer picks. That's why I have a couple of different packages. You know, I, I have a package that is more, you know, basic and like, you know, the what package I did on, um, on Saturday, uh, I'm sorry, Friday and Saturday, both my silver package. So they were my lower package, you know, the 100 and, 110 people on Friday and 100 people on Saturday, you know, so they were, you know, more basic package. Maui 5 goes and uh, just because of the facility what, where we're at, at the facility on Saturday, I did... Um, I did my sterilites on the one on Friday I did because we had a big room and where we're at how far away from the dance floor. Uh, I used actually my uh, DJ gig bar move because I felt it would give it a projector of light onto the dance floor the best. And that's what we did dealt with because the Maui fives, I, I didn't want to have lights on both sides, you know, going across on the dance floor and the Maui fives, I, I will tell you uh, for a, Speaker that puts out uh, was a 100, 120 SPL. They they filled the, the building was an old church and it filled it nicely with sound and with and it sounded beautiful in there. I mean the ceremony sounded awesome. Um, the uh, reception, the party uh, sounded awesome. Dinner sounded awesome. Um, I mean it just fills up nicely, but. It's one of the things you're going to invest time and money into things, you know, equipment costs money. And that's, that's one of the things is that I feel that, especially at, you know, again, 40 bucks for putting two scrims, that, that, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Having your wife doing it, you know, again, honey, here's some flowers or something. Thank you. Uh, that, that, that's right there is easy. And it's, it's very smart of you to do that because it, 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 it saves you that money. So the economic part of there is, is great. Because you're not going, oh man, I gotta go to Rockville or go to uh, Proax or I gotta go to someone else and get a scrim for these and wait for them to ship, wait to get there. Hopefully, they fit right. Hopefully, there's nothing wrong with them. This right here, making them there, and again, like for they, they look phenomenal. And you sent me some pictures too of some other stuff you're working on uh, for Halloween, which I thought was really, really super cool. Do you have those little uh, things handy that you can show? Yeah. <laughs> Again, folks, I apologize. Um, the interwebs are the interwebs are the interwebs. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, those right there. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. And I see you have a helper there. Thank you, helper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so those are going to be at the bottom, of course. I'm just putting them up oh, here yeah. so you can kind of see that they're uh, the zombie hands coming out of the ground. Because I got a junior high school uh, Halloween dance. So we want to just kind of make it fun, not that only for really them, cool. but for us, too. And, and that goes along where, with where, the, where are they made out of? Felt. What felt? That Those is your, made out of wife, your your wife did it. I just your wife is over helping you uh, put them up there, but she's the one that did those. Yes, yes. I she I, that right there. I think that is cool. That should that's something that could be sold. That could be an Etsy. That could be a, a thing that DJs would would die for for that. Put it on those towers. That right there. Oh is yeah, the see things. at the bottom. I mean, like I said. I sent you the pictures of them on the bottom with the mm -hmm. red lights on them or whatever, which they look, they look really good. So we're just going to, going to, we're going to use the crappy Rockville scrims and we're just going to stitch them to it because I'm not going to use those anymore for my weddings or anything. So they'll, they'll pretty much just be to do this with. I mean, but we could make them magnetic or. Yeah. Uh, so if you cool. check out my last YouTube video, I was doing the pumpkin face for the front of my booth. Yeah, I saw I saw that I saw that too. I'm like, you, you got some really cool stuff you're doing there. And especially I, I know we talked about this before that you talked to um Rockville, you talked to a few other companies, and you know, yeah, they have stuff for weddings, which again, I, I only do weddings, so that's all I care about. But someone like yourself who does more than just weddings, who does again, you're doing a school function, 
Uh, you're doing other things. Halloween is another big holiday. Halloween is like the second most popular uh, holiday other than Christmas. More people and more people buy stuff for Halloween. That's why they have all these Halloween stores that pop up, you know, at the end of uh, August, beginning of September. You see, you know, all these Halloween stores pop up and they have tons of stuff in there, inflatables, robots, every, all the stuff in there a, you can get. And yet it, there's not much. It, it's a, on modern, I watch Modern Marvels. I think on Modern Marvels, it's like a something billion dollar a year industry that only operates about four months a year. Yeah. I mean, and that's sick. I mean, that's sick money for the, you know, that short amount of time. Well, yeah, they go in, they rent a store that's, you know, closed. They, they start basically um, beginning of, uh, well, the end of July is when they start loading stuff in. They start building the store <laughs> up in the first half of August. They open up the end of August. So they're open September, October. And then uh, usually they're closed by November 10th or 15th. And stuff they don't sell. They keep they put back they send it back and they keep it stuff that they sell off they clean they get everything out that they can and they sell it really fast and that if you're looking for stuff and you want to get stuff you uh, you, you know something that you can hold off for you can go after uh, Halloween they have all these crazy sales to buy stuff but if you want something that's really cool you have to go early because once you're sold through certain things. That's it. And that may be the only time they have that run because they go to the manufacturers in China, Vietnam, and so forth and get these products. It's a very cool thing. But what your wife is doing there for that and Songa Sona Scrim, those little black felt things, that right there is really cool, man. That is really thinking outside the box. And that really makes it, you know, really great because it, it again, you're you're seeing a thing there. The second biggest holiday for decorations is halloween and you're doing stuff for halloween just like christmas you could probably get another some more fabric and do some christmas stuff to red and green and kind of do that christmasy feel and you know with snowflakes and so forth and i put it on to make a scrim for that for christmas and this is something that you're doing again very economical and again you're blessed that you have your wife that can sew and <laughs> and so forth but it is it's cool that you're thinking outside the box it's not the typical thing that a lot of DJs, you know, do a lot of DJs, they, they want to go buy stuff, which is great, but also making your own stuff. It, it's just like a few DJs who make their own, you know, uh, DJ booth. They get wood, they put a TV in it, they build it, they put wheels on it, do all this stuff. And, or you can go buy one, you know, uh, what's the one company? I can't remember off the top. I had, uh, they have booths. They're like, like four grand. For both oh, wow. TV are in there. It's a steel booth. Um, I can tell you in one second. Uh, uh, Toadmatic. T O A D M A M A T I C dot com. Toadmatic is a DJ company. They're in Cincinnati, Ohio. They fabricate DJ booths. And I, I would love to have them on the show sometime to talk about the DJ booths because a lot of people don't know about them. But if you go to Toadmatic, again, it's T O A D M A T I C dot com. Um, they have these booths, um, they're fully built. You just roll them right in. They have the TV in the front, they have plexiglass. You tell them what you want, how what size TV, they have, they have a couple different sizes. They're not cheap though, but they're built really well. Yeah, to, uh, to well, other, T O A D. Yep. The other side of us doing this is, like I said, I had been in touch with Pro X because I have my Pro X booth. Uh, of course, these are Rockville Totems, but again, it's the same thing. And you know, they make they do make some custom scrims, you know. And I had been in touch with them, but they don't really. I mean, there there's definitely a demand there. Like I said, for any of us, and I know, buddy, you're running a Pro X booth also. You know what I mean? If you're doing a, a Halloween wedding, wouldn't it be cool if you had a Halloween themed scrim to do at a Halloween wedding? I mean, I, yeah. You know, yeah. Of course, I, I don't just do weddings. So. I'm in the bars. I'm I'm at the university DJ, and I'm in schools. I'm in, I'm at you know teen dances. I you know I mean I'm all over the place here. So 
so, so the more options, like I have a need and I, and I, and I put it to them and said, look, I, I need something. If I got to pay the 130 bucks, you know, to get me a boots for him, that's going to, you know, reflect the holiday that I'm working, but they're, I, they just don't really seem to, I, they just never respond to any of it. You know what I mean? They just don't really, like I said, you can get the, you can get the new year's Eve scrims from them, but they're, but they have the year on them. What, what the, what's the point of that? So okay, it's 2023 coming up. So it's one and done. You spend 130 bucks, have a 2023 on the front of your booth. Like that, that just doesn't make sense to economically. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. So I'll, I'll make a thing happy, that I, I can put on the year. I can see you know that kind of stuff. Or if you could change out the um, change out the date. You know, change out the year. It was removable, like a Velcro. Yeah, but it's. Oh, you know, well, that panel. would be cool and. And how I'm attaching mine is going to be magnetic. So I'm looking at Tomatic. I, again, I looked at it before. For a 65 inch black, it is forty five hundred dollars. A forty three inch black uh, case is twenty seven fifty, and they give you some options with it. They also have a little to a little booth, which is twelve fifty. And the guy is a DJ. The guy is actually a DJ. They own a DJ company. And it, again, if you get it's really cool because the, the the shelf where your stuff is at, where you put your controller at and stuff, is height adjustable. Uh, there's racks in there, so you can, put, you can put stuff in there. Like, you know, your, you can mount your microphones. You can mount if you run a uh, amplifier, uh, whatever you want to put in there. You know, we want to put a DPS uh, processor in there. You have rack mountable stuff in there. You can put some drawers in there. You, you can take a hold of your microphones and stuff. There's people on there on YouTube who use the, the this uh, stuff. And it's it's pretty cool, um, and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try and reach out to them and talk to them see if I can get them onto the show. Uh, <laughs> oh, DJ Fire says uh, he's eating, and Abe Alley, I love you guys. I just sat down there. Well, there you go. <laughs> Abe's Abe's watching. Uh, Nathan's watching, and Adrian DJ Adrian E's watching. Uh, but yeah, that right there would be. I think I'm gonna try and reach out to them, talk to them, but. It, it's one of the things, again, I feel that it's really cool you're doing some D, uh, DIY stuff and saying, hey, I, there's a market for this. And there's a, I'm sure, you're, and don't take this the wrong way, I'm sure you're not the only DJ going, well, how, can only, how come you don't have it for me? How come I can't get this? Especially Halloween, Christmas, uh, Easter, there's not as much as Easter. You know, I, but I can see stuff for Easter because, again, some people, there's a lot of people do celebrate it. You know, a lot of people do like that part of the year, you know, Easter bunny, stuff like that, and they have stuff for, you know, egg hunts and stuff like that. And for the kids and stuff, I can see, I can see some stuff for that, but like, you know, 4th of July, there's always 4th of July parties. There's always Christmas parties. There's always Halloween parties and stuff like that. It's, it's those mine kind, of kind of like even winter. My need was for like the, at least the big three being Halloween, Christmas, and New Year's, you know, I mean, and and then like again, I I've, I've got a Valentine's Day thing coming up, so I'm I'm working on doing some stuff for that too. You know, so the winter formal will fall into my Christmas part of that, but but you know what I'm saying? I mean, th there's definitely you know a, a need not being fulfilled by the market. So in that situation, I mean, my wife and I are both artistic in that sense. So we just you know we'll say, well, what can we do? You know what I mean? What what can we do to set it not only set us apart but really you know give the function the attention it deserves you know what i mean from our setup and from and, and from all those things and, and again we're, we're doing it at such a minimal cost you know to, to you know to, to make these little things that we're doing but i think the impact is going to be tenfold what we put into it oh you yeah. know just wait, wait till i shoot my next gig log it'll be this friday I'm I'm at the uh, junior high school for the dance. I'm I'm gonna have my pumpkin face on my on my booth. We're gonna have the zombie hands. Everything's gonna be going. I mean, we'll take some really good video and a gig log of that event so you guys can I, check I can't it out. Can't wait to watch like, it, brother. Can't wait to watch it. Uh, like DJ Fire says, and... DJ Fire says pipe and drape, which is pipe and drape. I, I pipe and drape here. You know, this is this is I I have a treadmill on the other side of this because <laughs> it this, <laughs> this is in my this is in one of my you know I I, I have my office in my house. This is one of what this was a bedroom at one time. This is now office slash workout center slash a little bit of uh, storage for us. But 
you know, probably about two thirds of this is our office. I have print, I have a print center here. I have cabinets here with paperwork and stuff. This whole entire wall here is all us. There's a whole entire wall over there. It's all us. You know, there's, there, there's a, you know, again, a treadmill on the other side over here and a couple of things that we've, other stuff stored in here because it's a, it's, you know, it's a little extra room. But it's, it's one of the things, you know, pipe and drape is important. And, you know, that kind of stuff right there, can you get pipe and drape? Sure, you can order pipe and drape. But if someone like yourself says, hey, I can buy the pipe, but the drape is easy to make. My wife can make that. I can make it any color, and I can bring that to a gig. It, it's better, cheaper than doing it, going to Amazon, buying it. And you get better quality. Um, you do. You really do. Abe Alley says, I have a horror story for you. I got burned on a Wednesday wedding for Friday. Ooh, I'm sorry, Abe. Um, selling Christmas lights to our customers for decorations for weddings. There you go. And, you know, like uh, Matt, he does the LED, which I have my LED sign, which I can't wait to start using again for the upcoming wedding shows we're going to be doing in the uh, for next year. Because before you know it, uh, at the end of November is Thanksgiving. We get into high engagement season. So... I got to ask you and you guys out there, are you thinking of doing wedding shows? And if so, uh, what's your plans to get them going, to, to uh, get ready for them? So, Mike, I'll ask you that. Have you thought about doing some wedding shows? And if so, what do you think about getting ready for them? Wedding shows as far as, like, expos or something? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, there's a big one. A, uh, yeah, there's a big one coming up. I know DJ Fire is wanting to go to it, um, which more power to him. Uh, you know, I guess it wouldn't hurt. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. You know what I'm saying? It costs you a little bit of money to go get you a booth and set up or what have you. But, I mean, as far as the exposure and hand You know, I mean, offering your service for their – for their events, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my internet, but it's been like this all day. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's like, I'll see you stop and like, just wait, give it a second or two. <laughs> but again, you know, it's that's traveling 45 minutes. You know what I mean? To go down there. And then what what do you take? Do you take, you know, your wedding set up? Do you take everything you got and just really, you know, b build a display or, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not really sure. I've never been to one. So I, I don't know what that approach would be for me. See, so like for me, and this is how I do it. This is, you know, I'm not saying you have to do it the same way. I don't bring audio equipment. I don't bring that stuff. I bring my the booth. I have the TV in front of the booth. I run, you know, video on the booth. I do a little uplighting, you know, through the booth, cut some lights around the booth, uh, and some uplighting around. I probably would bring. I pro this year I would do the Asteris to the wedding shows. You know, put them up up high behind me on the two um, um, the two stands and have maybe two around the area. Because usually I give you a small area. Usually it's like, you know, uh, eight feet you know wide and about six or eight feet deep. It's, so, you know, a square little box. And, you know, I'll have the ant sign there, have our awards out, you know, have our, our, have a table with all the awards and stuff like that on top of it and have the neon sign there and have our, we have a banner, roll out banner, just put, pull the roller out banner, put it up and, you know, do that. But I, I want to do the Astera lights. And it's one of the things that when I look at what I want to do and uh, doing wedding shows, I don't bring audio equipment. I'm not there to play music. Now, some DJs do that. And I will say what we've run into, Tracy and I, is every single time we've run into that, it's either one of DJs gets louder and louder and louder and louder, and we can't hear ourselves even talking. We're DJs, or they have a battle of DJs. One DJ hears one DJ, he's like, Oh, I gotta be louder. I gotta attract people. I'm gonna get louder. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, and it goes back and forth. And I hate that. And it's like, it gives other DJs a bad name. And if someone wants to see my speakers, I'll take them out to my van and say, Here, here's my speakers. It, it, it's, it's, it's like, follow, hey, you know follow what? me out to my van, he says. <laughs> well i'm just saying it, it, it's like okay here i i have a i have i have a you know utility knife I, I can cut with this here here's one of my tools here here's a tool don't tell me what go show me your tool show me what is the product afterwards 
well, I can take this utility knife. I can cut paper and stuff like that. Well, show me what you did afterwards. Show me what the end process is. And that's what taking pictures and video is very important. And, you know, I would just, I bring, um, now I have two tablets, uh, one for the stairs, one for uh, ceremonies, but both of them are good quality, high quality screens. And I'll just take the tablet. I'll have pictures on here. I'll scroll through pictures, video, and show them, hey, this is what we did in 2022. This is all the stuff from 2022, pictures and video. Um, and I'll have play on TV stuff, my YouTube stuff, you know, because I have it here on my computer here, the, the raw video. I'll, I'll edit a new video together with uh, the stuff I have from YouTube and make it like a best of uh, reel and put it on for the TV. And... Uh, you know, let it go the whole entire time. So they see people dancing and people having fun at different venues. And that's, that's what I'm going to do. You know, that's how I, right. and to me, a wedding show is I want to showcase what I can offer the customer. This is what we've done. Doesn't mean this is, we're going to do exactly the same thing for you because we're going to customize it for that client. But we are going to, you know, give you an idea of what we can do, what's available, what is out there, what, you know, I want, you know, like I have my platinum package. Okay. I have platinum wedding uh, a few weeks ago with the Asteras. This is what it looks like with the Asteras because the Asteras are part of the gold package and a part of the platinum package. Well, I want the Asteras with the silver package. Okay. It's an additional charge. We're going to add an additional charge. Oh, like three hundred dollars upgrade to dance lights. You want the basic dance lighting, or you want to have the Asteras three hundred dollar charge because they're not cheap. <laughs> oh, DJ Fire's coming in. Well, let's get him in here. There he is. He's connecting. <laughs> there he is. What's going, on, Nathan? Nathan, what's going on, man? What's up? <laughs> That's one of the things that, you know, explain to customers that, what you can do, what you can provide, I feel is very important. Just, and again, I want them to get to know me a little bit too and, and know Tracy. And we talk to them <laughs> so they feel comfortable with us and feel different than other. We're not trying to sell them, you know, a service. We're trying to sell them, not trying to sell people stuff. We're trying to show them how we're different and how we can make their day great. Now Nathan is gone. <laughs> no, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, uh, Mike, are you are you booked at all Saturday or just Friday night? No, I'm booked Friday night. You know that, right? I you're not booked Saturday, right? No. Okay, I'm gonna tag you in a post. Someone's looking for a last minute DJ for Saturday, but I'm booked Saturday. So there you go. And that right there is, this is the reason why I love this is because I look at everyone on here as friends. And if I had to have something done. It's not let, hold on. I'll have to do it on my computer. It's not letting me tag him in it on my phone for some reason. <laughs> um, if I had, if I, if I had someone close by, which I have, I, I reached out to DJ Adrian E um, with some stuff and gave, gave him his information to a, a few uh, customers and told him, hey, I, I gave your information to, to customers. Um, and the reason why is that it's it's a great thing to have because having that relationship and having friends, you know, and such as like your son there, you know, your partner in crime right there, uh, having oh, yeah. and stuff like that is great because the fact that when something happens, like here at DJ Fire, that he got a request for service, he can't, you know, fulfill that service here he has a gig and you're open Boom, there you go. And then you can take him yeah. to a hot dog stand and buy him an Italian beef or a hot dog or you guys you, you guys have Italian beef down there, right? You guys have that down there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say you're not yeah, that far we, from Chicago. You guys should and you guys are not from Chicago or no Chicago land. Italian beef sandwiches, you guys come to Chicago, have yourself an Italian beef. They are uh very, very delicious. <laughs> as well as uh good hot dogs here in Chicago. Uh okay. <laughs> a fat guy with food. <laughs> my, my family's been from Chicago. You know what I mean? We used to go up there when we were kids. My mom used to like the the beef sandwiches from uh, Winkin' Dog. There's there's that, there's that places, and I, I I will tell you, uh, Mike, if you uh, 
decided to say, hey, uh, Saturday, and I'm, I'm open. You want to bring your wife and your son up here, and you want to uh, go to lunch with uh, Tracy and I? And same thing with you, Nathan. You, you want to bring your uh, lovely girlfriend and your uh, and your family with you up here? You guys want to go to lunch somewhere and have some true Chicago stuff, your pizza or hot dog or whatever? I'm always glad. And, and Abe, if you want to come in from Maine, <laughs> holy cow! The you know the the door is always open for you guys. Don't never never feel bad. Just get you know get a hold of me and tell me you guys have my direct line. And I, I always tell that for anyone, you know, uh, now that uh, now that the season's starting to widen down, like before, I got four more, four more <laughs> until the end of the year. Well, I, I, can't, I can't tag your DJ Mike James page in this. All it wants to bring up is your Michael Coleman uh, Facebook. Yeah, well, I can't we're, tag me in that. That's fine. Okay. Well, I figured everybody else is just tagging people's names in this. I got tagged by a friend. There's people just Adrian's saying that for dinner. Call it. Yeah, we I still gotta go for dinner. Be better if there's an actual DJ tag. I'm sorry, here. Adrian. I keep. I, I'm like, hey, we gotta go for dinner, man. And you're closest. <laughs> up, everyone here, you're the closest. You're just in the south suburbs. <laughs> and it's funny. Yeah, uh, Adrian, the, DJ Adrian E and I were. Uh, we did a gig. I was in the south suburbs doing a gig uh, a couple weeks ago, and we weren't far from each other. I'm like, man. <laughs> Abe said he's coming in. Where, where, where's Abe? I want to hear this story about him losing. We got we got 15 more minutes of the show. And I want to. Uh... Yeah, we keep passing each other. Hold on. Okay. We keep passing each other. Yeah, we basically do, man. One minute. Okay. But um, DJ Fire, Nathan, how are you, sir? I know you went to Kentucky for your trip. Um, for your your main business, your lawn care business, and uh, yeah. did you have? I guess fun? my comment has to be approved. That's stupid. <laughs> so I commented Mike's deal and said he's under DJ Mike James. He's the greatest, other than me. <laughs> but I'm booked this weekend. So, but it says your post is being reviewed. Well. Yeah. But they're making sure you're not saying something bad or making sure you're not uh it, it's in a it's in a group. Someone tagged me in something in a group and then yeah, yeah but that, that's fine. They'll they'll <laughs> see what it is and be like, hey, you know what? They'll let that go. It's not like you're saying bad things. Right. Whoever the admin is. I'm trying to find something here. I want to show you guys uh, that I got while I was in Kentucky. Where is it at? There that is. Cool new light, <laughs> cool new toy. Uh, I did. It's actually, it's not exactly DJ related, but I'll show you a little peep of it. How's it open? It's a uh, backpack blower rack to put on my trailer to hold my backpack blower. So, yeah, some assembly may be required. But no, the reason why I was talking about Christmas lights is I'm going to be an affiliate for this company. Uh, they're called, how'd you pronounce it, Mike? Holiday Rent Dynamics. Is that how you said that? Holiday Dynamics. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to be send me, sending me, I believe, some Christmas lights. They have like these really cool, they look like, like an tr outdoor tree with no leaves on it. And it's already got lights on it. And it would be the white lights. You can get them in multicolor. I mean, I was like, it'd be kind of cool because they were telling, you know, they sell to DJs and wedding venues and all that stuff to decorate. So they like, you know, you can sell this to your wedding party. They can use it for decorations, and then they can take it home and put it in their house or use it outside. There you go. And people like to do that stuff, too. I see that quite a bit, especially centerpieces and so forth. It, it's it's very, uh, very, very cool. I see a lot of people do the centerpieces, and they put in, like, the little uh, fairy lights and stuff like that inside the centerpieces. So there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of great stuff that you can do. And if you can if you're gonna get that market and add that additional um, item on your repertoire when you are when you uh, offer services to customers, hey, mm -hmm. by the way, I can offer, you know, you're doing you know a summer to outdoor wedding and you want some lights in around the trees and stuff like that, I could do that. You know, it, it's always good to offer have more services in there. Right. No, we had a had a really good time. I don't know if you've seen any of the videos, but are you are you clicking on the right link, Abe? Because nothing came up to let you in. Probably clicking clicking an old link, but 
No, I'm in the process of probably getting some new equipment. Oh, cool. um, I'm being there and getting to see a bunch of the, like I met some of the real big YouTubers that do a lot of, um, a lot of like lawn care and stuff uh, like uh, Beck the Beast. She's a big TikTok uh, deal. She does a lot of lawn care. I, I kind of saw a lot of things that I can do to, you know, make my business better. There was things there that I can use for my DJ, you know, stuff. Uh, a lot of the companies had trussing there for their setup. So I've seen different ways to use trussing. Um, it was kind of the, the NAM for lawn care is pretty much what it was. <clears throat> like you could, what do you call it? I mean, everything you, how it was set up at NAM is pretty much how it was set up for uh, equipped um, exposition. They used to call it GIE, but now it's called Equipped Exposition. I just sent you a new link, Abe, so let you have that. But so that that right there again, that's it's kind of cool. That again, you went there for your regular business, but also how you can pull some of that stuff into the DJ world. And you know, again, uh, the fairy lights, the Christmas lights, whatever you want to call them, having them, you know, able to do stuff that that is that that's cool because. Mm -hmm. That's also something you can go to venues and be like, hey, I can do lighting around the outside of the room or lighting over here. I can put some lights in your trees and stuff and, you know, for an outdoor sure. area by the fire pit and have cool lighting. I'm, I'm thinking about starting to do the twin, start offering twinkly lights. I don't know. That's something I'm going to talk to them because they have that, but they have them in LED. You can get them in clear. You can get them in multicolor. You can apparently they have DMX stuff too that you can DMX and program Christmas lighting. I never knew you could DMX Christmas lighting, but apparently you can. All right, there's Abe. Here, here here's a funny thing. Uh, my uh, <laughs> phone just uh, told me, and I have a picture on my phone of your New Horizons uh, <laughs> of you at the, the at the show. Oh, it just probably, give you a little heart. Just give you a little heart. Give you a little love. <laughs> yeah, sometimes people are saying that when they're getting the notification that I uploaded, it's it's been hours after I've uploaded the video. It's been up for eight or seven, you know, eight or ten hours. And I'm like, well, it's just YouTube. Yeah, the algorithms it's, are it's not. You know, I get I get like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. I'll I'll get a deal that says Cole the Corn Star uploaded. I'm like, I already watched that. Why is it just not telling me? Yeah, the algorithms you gotta love it. Abe, oh. Ellie, how are you, sir? What's up, guys? I can hear you, but I can't see you. This is your lovely picture of you on hey. Uh hold on. Well, he's getting that. I, those of you on YouTube, I wanted to kind of talk to you for a second. Um Abe, uh Mike, and uh buddy, YouTube has unlocked a bunch of new stuff for people that doesn't have monetization qualities only in order to get some of the stuff you had to have over a thousand subscribers 4,000 watch hours so they're unlocking what's called the community tab now that is basically posting a status on facebook it's no less than that but you can post status you can post pictures a poll and that's a way to interact with your subscribers. You can post stuff on there. You can get comments. That also can be monetized. When you are monetized, you can make money off that post. So those of you that are getting those on your, it'll you'll have the community tab on there. That's what that's all about. And it's nice. Cool. That they're yeah, doing I saw that. I was, at that. I was going to talk to you guys. We can talk about off off the show a little bit about that uh, afterwards. So be, we, we, we'll talk a little bit after uh, we've been over the show. So Abe. Yo, sir, you said that someone canceled a wedding. Oh, yeah. So, hey guys, how you doing? Um, so November, I booked a girl for her wedding, which is this Friday night coming, which is the twenty seventh, twenty eighth. So, or whatever it is, yeah. and <laughs> so. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter now. So, true. It does right? for me, God. Yeah. It better be the 28th. Yeah. So I um, talked to this lady last November. She paid me a deposit and saved her date. So usually about two weeks a month before the day, I always try to get a hold of my clients. And... 
So I wrote to this girl on text because we were talking through text and there was nothing. She was not replying. So I sent her an email. Um, we were talking on email as well and nothing from the email. So I know the venue owners. Um, it's out at Morgan Hill. It's like 10 minutes from my house. And I knew it was going to be there. So I called Sam and I said, hey, this April, um, supposed to have a wedding Friday. I can't seem to get a hold of her. So have you talked to have you talked to her? Have you been in contact with her? And Sam wrote back to me like 20 minutes later, and she's like, they moved their wedding date to February 3rd, 2023. Okay, well, that's news to me, right? Um, and then I I couldn't find her on Facebook or anything. So I looked up uh, her name and I found uh, on Wedding Wire, April and Nathan, February 3rd, 2023 in Herman, Maine, which is, this is where the venue is. So I'm like, okay, they obviously moved their date. And like an hour after I found that out, I was just scrolling through Facebook and her page come up. I actually had her on Facebook as a friend. Well, she changed her name and totally changed her name. And she had a post that said, I just cleaned out half of my friends list. It feels so good. And <laughs> I was still her friend. Well, I got distracted. I went back a couple minutes later. I wasn't her friend at all. So she took me off her Facebook. She's not getting back to my text and she's not getting back to my emails. So I have her deposit. I'm keeping her deposit and I'm out quite a bit of money for Friday night. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if she just didn't like the looks of me or what, but it was all good. Like, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, you'd think she'd let me know that they changed their date. And I was just trying to get in contact because if they did change their date, I'd like to be their DJ for February. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, how so I'm trying, I'm trying, hold on. I'm almost done. So I, I was just trying to salvage it, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I don't know why or what reason, but um, I was thinking about messaging her on Facebook, but I think I'm just going to let it be. So, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just kind of sad um, about it because I just love doing it. And uh, so it's weird. Like 20 minutes after that, I get an inquiry for a 40th birthday party one minute down the road for Saturday. And I booked that. So it kind of worked out, I guess, but I'm just kind of bothered that, you know, somebody couldn't let me know. And um, I don't, obviously it was me. Like she just wasn't happy with me or something. I don't know. I don't know what I did, but uh, people are weird sometimes. So, well, you know, Abe, one door closes, another door opens. And that's just your, your no, that's, right there. That, you that's true. And I, I didn't get mad. I wasn't mad. Uh, I'm not mad. Uh, I'm just kind of disappointed because I'm obviously thinking it was me. Like, obviously, there's something she didn't like about me. So, I don't know. She paid her deposit, so I don't know. <laughs> well, how how are you out of money? I guess I'm, maybe I'm not catching that. You said you're out of a bunch of money. If she paid your deposit and you're keeping it, was you having to rent equipment or? No. <sighs> I'm the not, expectation of being paid for the event, right? Yeah, I'm not out the money. Um, You're out the rest of the money that you right, would have made. It's a significant you amount of money. Um, it was a really good, good payday. That's not everything, but like, I kind of had plans, like that, what I was going to do with it um, right. for Christmas. You know, I was going to purchase some couple of big gifts for Christmas with it, but. Um, all in all, though, I guess I'm all right. Uh, I'm just a little sad that she couldn't. She couldn't tell me like 
just tell me if if you're going to I would have given her a deposit back. Well, if again, you, she's within she's within your time period, what, 30 days or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. She's out so, of the deposit. There's nothing more you can yeah, do. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's all good that way, but I don't know. That's the first time that's ever happened to me in 18 years. Well, it, it, it unfortunately it happens time to time when people get it squirrely does. and whatever the reason is, the the reason is, but again, one door closed and another door opens. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, so, had, I've had people change dates on me for sure. I mean, once somebody gives me their deposit, like like I said, if they cancel that date, it, the way I have it written in my contracts is, hey, I'll work with you to go ahead and get, you know, whatever the next date is. Because, uh, like, for the for instance, the COVID thing. So somebody paid me their deposit, COVID came, they pushed their date like 18 months. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, hey, Same here, we'll work yeah. it out with you. We'll work it out with you. No problem. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. it's still, I'm still going to DJ your event. You just let me know when that day is. And, and I think they pushed it. It was three different dates or something like that before that finally actually happened. You yeah. know? No, I would do I that as well. And I was with them. Not a problem. Yeah. And that's, that's, that, it's, it's sad, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, you got your lights and you put your video up there. And so here's one other thing. Also, we're going to get back to this. As I said before, <laughs> If you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up. Give a comment down below. If you put a comment down below, you want to say something or answer something down below, we'll do it at the next show, the next episode of, of the DJ Roundtable. Yeah, I use my hands. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, if you want to watch the show live, you want to watch the show live on Tuesday nights, we do it on Twitch. So you can come over on Twitch and watch it. Uh, and you know, I'm getting a hand here, getting hands from everyone. Hey, wait, uh, I don't know what to do with my hands. You know, yeah, this is you know, Ricky Bobby kind of thing. Uh, I don't know what to do with my hands, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, everyone here has YouTube channels, so make sure you follow them as YouTube channels. I do hit put the links down in the description, so you'll see at a valley, you'll see at DJ Fire, you'll see at Mike James. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I'll put everyone I possibly can in there. And I know Abe has got a review of his new lights that he's going with. And one? here's one other thing also. Ape Labs, which you're, the one light you have is kind of a copy of an Ape Lab. They have now a second generation light they, they, they just released. This is... I'm, I'm just going to tell everybody out there right now. These are the best bang for your buck. Well, yeah, there's, there's no beating these, labs, but there really isn't. There you go. The Ape Labs is three hundred and twenty-five dollars a piece. This is sixty-two. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's There's huge price disparity. Big price <laughs> difference, but again, sometimes that price difference is the difference in quality and quantity, and as well as what it could do. I could tell you the Astera lights at four hundred fifty dollars a light versus the. Um, uh, Chave light sticks that stick on the corners, totally different light, totally different thing. They yeah. both are sticks. These stairs do so much more, and that's that's the thing is that you you got to look at you, you got to balance of what you want to do. And again, those right, are good, exactly. nice, good exactly. up lights. If you want to do a bunch of crazy stuff and a bunch of advanced stuff, you're gonna pay for it like anything else. Oh, absolutely. but I'm looking forward to your review on a Valley a Valley podcast. Um, it's coming and up this week. Fire. Of course, I'm waiting for stuff. I want to watch some of his stuff. And of course, he does have a review channel on a Nathan 343 channel and his uh his long care channel as well. So he has three channels. And then, of course, Mike has his channel. And I have my channel here at TBM Productions DJ One. So please make sure that you like, subscribe, all of ours. You know, go on to the channels, like and subscribe to all our channels, as well as put comments down below and talk. Say, hey, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. Tell us what you want to talk about, you know, want us to talk about and, and ask questions, you know, comments, critiques, anything. Put it down below. That's what we're here for. Other than that, I got to thank everyone here tonight, including Abe Alley. You know, he's a late one this time. <laughs> and I had a bad thing. Mike James, DJ Fire Nathan, Abe Alley. Thank you guys all for coming in tonight. We appreciate it. You guys be safe. Check out All my right, review thanks. on my channel, guys, YouTube this week. Yep. Thanks for having me.